Happy Friday and welcome back. Beaches are big draws, especially on holiday weekends. In some places, they even welcome cars and trucks. But after a series of accidents, there are some communities in Florida that are starting to reconsider that tradition. Here's Chris Van Cleef. A security camera captured the moment this SUV hit and injured a sunbather on Amelia Island, Florida in May. And she's not the only one. Nassau County 911, where's your emergency? I just got ran over. My legs just got ran over by a white Jeep that's cooling out right now. Just weeks earlier, Amanda Gonzalez was laying a mile up the same beach when she too was run over. The injured mother of two wants vehicles off the beach. Every time I closed my eyes, I saw tires coming at my head. And it still happens. In a third incident, someone ran over a well-marked endangered sea turtle nest like this one. And videos show potentially dangerous behavior, like cars doing donuts on the beach. At least a dozen states allow some form of beach driving. While deaths are uncommon, they have happened. Unlike injury or deadly crashes on the road, beach accidents are not reported nationally. Anytime there's a combination of motor vehicles and pedestrians in a relatively unprotected environment, the risk is really elevated. The city of Fernandina Beach tightened its beach regulations and police now encourage sunbathers not to lay in the area open to vehicles. Local leaders are weighing whether to make the beaches car free, but that's controversial. There are no easy answers. Mayor Johnny Miller is hoping for some middle ground. We can figure out a way to, to get along, to make it symbiotic, that we can have people and cars, you know, the access the beach. For now, cars and people are sharing the beaches here on the island as the county and city struggle with what to do. It is trying to balance a summer tradition with concerns over safety. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News. Amelia Island, Florida.